the cultural mentoring model, you know, as represented by what we call the art of mentoring, um, is essentially a simulated village. And we basically take all these, let's call them Legos, you know, each little element of cultural mentoring that stimulates skills and information, that stimulates recreation, that stimulates connection, and goes beyond that to deep connection. There's Legos, you know, and let's say there's five, we have 512 Lego categories that we work with, but if you show up in art of mentoring, you come to the registration table, we reach in the box, grab a Lego, and we say, would you like to be responsible for some little part of the village this week? Oh yeah, of course. Cool. Here's your Lego. Right? Instructions inside. And we hand out, you know, 250 of those Legos as people register, and pretty soon there's 250 culture mentors at the Art of Mentoring, and, and all of them are wondering, why is this experience so powerful? Who's doing this? They're really doing that. They're like, I've never felt anything more transformative. You know, I've had people who are like transformative leadership you know, teachers and facilitators, and they're coming to Art of Mentoring, they're like, this is the most dynamic, transformative model I've ever been in. Who's leading this? Where, where is it happening? You know, he's holding a Lego in his hand while he's asking me, right? Right, because our body is designed to respond to a village. It's designed to respond to a village that has order in the stages of life. And specialty roles, you know, herbalists, hunters, whatever, you know, and art of mentoring, we just cut the whole thing up into stages of life and specialty roles. And we just hand them out randomly as people come in. Say, hey, would you be willing to just play with this little thing? Sure. What do I have to do? Well, when you go to your first clan meeting, they'll tell you what to do with that. And then that's that. That's as much as we do. We train the clan leaders. So if there's 250 people in art of mentoring, there's always 75 people working behind the scenes to help facilitate what's going on. But they're not doing it either. They're just training the people, each individual, to carry their Lego powerfully. And then when you come into that experience, you suddenly feel what the Bushmen are, are living in. But everyone looks normal. They're wearing normal modern clothes. They're talking on their iPhones on breaks. You know, they're playing music. They're hanging out. They're playing volleyball. They're enjoying time in the kitchen. They're playing with their children. They're learning about nature. Or they're doing whatever, you know, sitting by a fire. Everybody's normal, but everyone goes to another level of, of vibration because those attributes all get turned on. And they go home at the end of the week completely unsatisfied with their situation they have to go back to. Because all of a sudden their whole body is feeling that they're mapping back into a two-dimensional experience and that they're leaving a five-dimensional one. Here we are in Topanga Canyon and, you know, we're not starting from scratch because of who you are in this room. Um, but we're kind of jump-starting a model and to help. And the, the Institute is my focus to really help the, the adult community to understand this unique thing that Paul is doing because I really believe that you know, the Manzanita School is going to set a new standard because it's going to bring these really powerful cultural mentoring technologies that activate all the electricity in the body, in a sense. Nobody suffers when they have those attributes. It gives them an edge in everything that they pursue.